What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another King James video and today we're going to be discussing a topic that's super fresh, super hot on the film photography realm at the moment. And that is the new reflex camera that is supposedly supposed to be coming out. So if you guys didn't know, there was a Kickstarter started by a company called Reflex. And basically what they're doing is they're doing an update. Basically they're creating a camera that's 35 millimeter film, but has all these different features. Now from what they're saying, quoting them is Reflex is the first update on a manual 35 millimeter SLR system in over 25 years. Now realistically, my question here is how effective it's gonna be, what it can do, and if it's ever gonna be successful. Also, another question that I do wanna ask is how the film community is gonna react. What is this gonna do to the film community, and is it gonna work out? So I don't wanna go ahead and play the video on here because that'll take too much time. I just wanna get you guys the details, the straight facts, and everything that's important. So if you guys haven't already seen the video or wanna watch it again, it's this thing right here. Go ahead and click the link in the description down below to watch it, and then come back, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, guys, now that you're back, let's go ahead and talk about some of the specifications of the camera. Now, I'm gonna pop up some images on the screen right here, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start talking. All right, key features, the eye plate, interchangeable lens mount. So, previously, buying a camera from a particular brand meant people were locked into buying using lenses from the same manufacturer. This can be frustrating, costly, reflexes, interchangeable lens mount plate, makes shooting with lenses produced by other brands possible. So, what they're trying to say is that they're creating a plate where it's basically like an adapter mount where you can take different lenses and put them on there. So if you guys didn't know, the the reflex camera that they're creating comes standard with an M42 screw mount. But the idea of creating a plate that will allow you to adapt different lenses on it based on different types of plates is pretty cool. What that means is you're gonna have a camera that can take Olympus lenses, Milta lenses, Canon lenses, and so much other glass out there and have one simple camera. Ultimately, this will eliminate buying different cameras and then just sticking to one camera and just buying those little plates so you can adapt those different lenses on there. Now, in my opinion, that's an absolutely wonderful idea, but there are a couple things that trouble me, which I'll get into later on down the road. So moving forward with the camera, there's the daylight changeable film back. Uh, basically, it's not like a it's not like a traditional SLR where you open it up in the back and then you load the film in. Uh, it's more of a Leica type thing. Uh, it also has a flash and an LED. Reflex is the first analog camera to have both flash and continuous light source on board, giving photographers freedom to choose their preferred method of lighting. So there's LED and flash in three different speeds, I believe. Three intensities is what they say, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if you know you're gonna need a LED or a flash all the time, but it's there. Now, the Reflex camera also offers an app which you can connect through Bluetooth. So you're gonna have an analog camera that shoots film that connects to your phone through Bluetooth and basically the app is kind of like a photo memo book uh, where basically it records your info, your ISO, your shutter speed, your aperture, and all that type of stuff so that all that metadata is stored within that app so that when you go back to the photos, you know what settings you were. Ultimately, it will help you over time learning exposure. The classic way of doing it is writing in a book, but they went ahead and eliminated that whole process and automatically syncs to your phone. So now I'm gonna bring the specs up on the screen. I'm just gonna read down the list. Type single lens reflex, format 35 millimeter. Reflex RM, lens mount. Reflex eye plate, the M42, which is what comes standard. The Nikon F, Canon FD, Olympus OM, Pentax PK. They better make a Minolta one, I'm just saying. Reflex, you need to make a Minolta one, please. <laughs> manual focusing, film loading reflex eye back, film advance, rewind manual, obviously. Exposure, manual and aperture priority. So I wanna stop right there really quick. So they only included manual mode and aperture priority mode. Now, is that a big issue? No, I absolutely love it. Now the reason why I think they might have left out shutter priority is basically because in manual mode you're going to have shutter, uh, you're going to be flexible with your shutter anyways. Uh, so there's really no point in shutter priority, but aperture priority is important as well. They don't have program mode, which is, which is absolutely amazing because this will allow people to learn exposure a little bit more. So I think this has everything you need, the manual mode and the aperture priority as well. Uh, four stops EV, depth of field, inverted preview shutter speeds go up to one four thousandths of a second and flash sync at one one twenty fifth so i'm thinking right now this camera is going to be battery dependent especially if it goes up to one four thousandths of a second now i'm curious to see what kind of batteries they use maybe it says it here metering av plus spot led readout iso 25 to 6400 so you'll have no problem pushing your film up to 32 whatever the hell you do uh, controllers arduino based modular design connectivity bluetooth Bluetooth enabled, you guys, that's insane. So analog camera with Bluetooth connectivity, that is crazy. 
Uh, body is made out of magnesium alloy, which if you guys didn't know, the Canon 5D line basically is magnesium alloy. Uh, weight is 490 grams, dimensions, electronic system, lithium rechargeable via USB. Okay, so there's the answer to the other question. This camera is gonna take a lithium ion battery that's rechargeable through USB, which means those power banks that you have can charge your camera. If you have a little outlet, you can charge it through there. You don't need to buy any more batteries, which is insane, especially for an analog camera like that. It eliminates that hard task of finding those old batteries or finding an equivalent and hoping that it'll work. So I really like that. It has that re rechargeable uh, battery through USB. Resolution, zero megapixels. Really? Okay. So now I'm just gonna share some of my opinions on the actual camera. This can go two different ways. Now, in my honest opinion, the reflex camera is an absolutely wonderful idea. I get it. Um, it's a whole fresh perspective and like a breath of fresh air to film photography. But realistically, how long is the reflex camera going to last? The longevity of this system is it going to stretch the way the old SLRs did, such as the Minoltas, the Canons, the Pentaxes, and stuff like that. The creator in the video, I don't know if he's a creator, if he's just a spokesperson, but the guy in the video said they don't want to compete and they don't want to outdo these other camera brands as well, which I 100% respect. But think of it this way. This camera can now be the bridge from digital photographers who want to get into film photography. It's such a simple system. You buy different plates, you get different lenses, you put it on, you have one camera, and you have a ton of different lenses as well. All of the features on this thing are amazing and they live up to today's standards, but I feel like the reflex camera could kind of be like a novelty camera. Expect a new wave of film photographers coming in. A lot of people are going to start shooting film because of this and that's how I honestly feel. But after they get that reflex camera and they notice and they get more into the film world and they start you know, opening their eyes to all these different other options, I feel as if people are just going to stray away from the camera and start going back to the Olympuses. The Pentaxes, the Minoltas, the Canons, the Nikons, and eventually the reflex camera will die out. Like I said, this is only an opinion and I may be wrong, I may be 100% wrong, but from what I see, I love the idea of the reflex camera. It's a beautiful camera from what I see so far. I love the idea, I love the creators, and I 100% back it. But I'm curious to see what it's gonna do for the film photographers that already shoot film and for the people that are gonna start. That's my take on it. Now the second way I see this thing going is, first of all, let me ask this question. How are the film photographers who have been shooting film for a long time already gonna react to this? Some are gonna love it. Some are gonna feel like, oh wow, this is amazing. You know, I really want to try this out and give it a try myself. It's fresh, it's new. A lot of people are gonna start shooting film. Go film photography, I love it. And that's sort of how I feel. Then there are the other people who are gonna be completely opposed to this whole entire idea. Okay, so you're introducing a new reflex camera. All right, that's cool. It's 35 millimeter, that's great. But there's other cameras as well, like the Olympuses, the Nikons and stuff like that. Why do I want that when I already have this stuff? There's no point. When you're thinking about film photography, realistically, it's really not the camera body, at least I should say. It's not the camera body that makes sharp images. If you guys are going for sharp images and you're looking for a film camera, you can buy the cheapest film camera ever, and then you can buy the most expensive film camera. As long as you get those exposure right, it's gonna produce the same image. What really matters in film photography, in my opinion, in order to get really sharp images are the lenses. Now Reflex is introducing that plate thing where you can adapt different lenses onto it, which is what's gonna make you get sharp images. So here's where we stand. We have the guys who support Reflex, who love the idea of taking different lenses from different systems, putting it on one camera body, because that's really all you need. And then you have the people who are loyal to older SLRs. So with that being said, you guys, the reflex camera, in my opinion, wonderful idea. I 100% back it. I wanna try it out myself. It looks like a very interesting and compelling idea as well, but it's gonna be a while before people start to accept this new technology. I myself kind of questioned it when I was looking at the video for the first time. Then I started to read it and kind of understood exactly what they were trying to do. Like the guy said, they don't want to compete, but what'll happen is there's going to be a new wave of film photographers coming in. And when I say wave, I mean a lot of people are going to start shooting film. This can be beneficial as well because when people start shooting film, more people want to get their stuff developed. More companies will start recreating those films from back in the day. Who knows, Fuji might, you know, recreate some of their older stuff. 
Kodak might even come out with Portra 160 NC. Who knows? So reflex can open up a whole different world in the film community. Film photography is here for us to enjoy. So let's just go ahead and continue to enjoy film. Let's see what happens in the next couple months when the reflex camera actually comes out. If I can get my hands on one, I absolutely will do a review for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really do want to know your opinion on this as well. So go ahead and leave in the comments down below what you guys think. You know, how do you think the film community is going to react? How do you react to it? and if you think this reflex camera is a good or bad idea. So let's just enjoy film together and let's stick as one. Film is not dead. Minolta gang, all the time. <laughs> all right, y'all. See you on the next one.